Greetings, I am here live at Microsoft Ignite in San Francisco. This is the final day, everyone's kind of packing up and going home. And this is a bit of a different video for me because clearly I'm here and not in my home setup, but I wanted to do a recap of the important announcements here. You can hear, <clears throat> I've kind of lost my voice. I've got, a, I've got a very super sweet Starbucks coffee that is going to be a mistake, <laughs> but I'm making it anyway. So what I want to take you through here is some of the really big announcements first that I think are most relevant to those of you who watch my channel, who work with things like Microsoft 365 Copilot, PAL Platform, Copilot Studio. So go through some of the big things that you need to know. Then I want to take you through a couple of sort of trends I'm seeing in Microsoft 365 Copilot and the way that that's working and changing and things that are being added to it. And finally, a couple of things that are really quite transformational in the way that we think about working with apps and the relationship between apps and agents and how that's coming together. Now, this video, like I said, this isn't like my normal style of video because I'm here. I'm just going to talk to you and let me know what you're most interested in because when I'm home next week and I've got myself back on the right time zone and had some sleep, uh, I will do some deeper content on these things with some visuals. And as I start to get access to these things, then obviously it's easier for me to show them to you. So let me know what questions you have and what you're interested in and subscribe so you get those updates when they come through. I do have like old school notebook here with some things in it. So of the big announcements, <clears throat> first one is a, a concept called Agent 365. This is essentially about the security of being able to manage agents in your organization, no matter where they were built or what platform you've built them on. And this is going to be amazing because I do talk to a lot of organizations where they are <clears throat> blocking agents or they're too concerned to go ahead with agents because they're worried about the security and the control and the governance. So this now actually provides a way for organizations to have that complete visibility, access control, understanding the usage, being able to kind of block things and make changes and have all of that in the one place regardless of what platform you're building the agents on. So that's called Agent 365. That's going to be big. There'll be plenty more coming about that, but that was a big headline announcement here. Another headline announcement is the partnership between Microsoft and Anthropic, which you might know better as the Claude model. So at the moment, up till now, when we've been using tools like Microsoft Copilot, we are using the underlying OpenAI model, which is the same thing that comes with ChatGPT. But now with this partnership, you'll be able to choose Claude as a model. And I've seen some demos here live this week where there's a little button. This might not be appearing in our things yet, it might just be in the preview Microsoft tenants, but where the little button in Microsoft 365 Copilot says try Claude, or in Copilot Studio, select your model and you can actually select a Claude model. So more choices of the models we can use as just business users and low code makers. Uh, obviously, if you're deeper into AI Foundry and all those things, you can do even more with that. But just for those of us using it, we can actually switch to different models and be able to use those things and get different results because the different models are good at different things. So that'll be one to have a go with. The other one is two more in this section. One of them is the concept of work IQ. So this is everywhere now across all of the Microsoft things. On one level, this is just a different way of expressing the concept of the Microsoft graph for non-technical people. And actually, I think that's a really good thing because the Microsoft graph is a whole big technical concept. Work IQ basically refers to this is the intelligent layer when you're working with Microsoft 365 Copilot that means it has immediate and constant and secure access to all of your Microsoft 365 context at work who your boss is, who you work with, what files you work with. If you're accessing things that are secure, it respects that and can work with that. And the distinction between that concept, Work IQ, which is that in real time intelligence layer that comes with Microsoft 365 Copilot, compared with using something like ChatGPT with connectors, because yes, you can do that. You can connect it up to Outlook and Teams and SharePoint, but it doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't have that full context with the intelligent layer. I saw a great demo here comparing those two things side by side. I think I might try and replicate that one if there's interest to show you the difference between how that works. So work IQ is a terminology you're going to be hearing a lot more of. So one more thing in the headline announcement is that we have got for small businesses. So SMB, if you're a small business, less than 300 users, there is now a new Microsoft 365 Copilot paid license, a premium license. Same capability as the main one that's usually 
US $30 per user per month, but there is now a SKU that you can use for a small business that will be 21 US dollars per user per month. So that's okay. Now I'm just gonna move my camera because I'm not sure who this person is, but maybe he doesn't want to be on YouTube. So <laughs> let's just get him out of the picture there. I'm just doing this one live without editing, by the way. This is kind of fun and different, something different. Okay, so those are the four sort of <clears throat> big headline announcements that I want to make you aware of. And then in terms of trends of what's happening with Microsoft 365 Copilot, a couple of things here the free version of Copilot Chat. So if you don't pay for a license, they are, Microsoft is adding more and more value into that license. So the thing we've seen announced here is that there's going to be more in the Outlook. So instead of it just at the moment in the free Copilot Chat with Outlook, all you can do is work with the current email thread. It will actually have the context of your entire inbox and calendar and meetings and Agent mode is being added to Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, which also means you'll be able to use that Copilot experience to interact with those documents and spreadsheets, not just ask questions about them. So what I'm seeing here is the increasing value being added to the free license, but there is still always even more value in the paid license. And so I think the thing to watch there is the direction of the paid license is going very much into agent experiences and out of the box, highly valuable agent experiences and things you can do there. So I feel like the value is pushing in the paid license even more towards those agent experiences while they give you more capability to work with your data inside the free version. Obviously the free version, you're still not getting that whole work IQ context, but just I'm seeing that trend there of more value being added to the free license and then more value being added to the paid license as well. So in the paid license, the full Microsoft 365 Copilot paid license, you will now get more ability to create documents. So this is something that I see people want to do. If you build an agent in that light experience in Microsoft 365 Copilot, you will now be able to have your agent generate a document. So you, won't be, wouldn't, you couldn't do that before. So you can build an agent in Microsoft 365 Copilot that can generate a document. So it's a really, a really good thing. Um, there are also going to be more document creation capabilities with the agents that sit inside Word, Excel and PowerPoint for that paid license. At the keynote, they showed a demo of using it in Excel was mind blowing. It sort of asks you questions and it was creating the most beautiful spreadsheets with visuals and charts and things. So that was that was pretty amazing. I've also seen the agent instructions when you just describe a light agent in natural language, the quality of the instructions in the demos I've seen here this week so much better than sort of the five bullet points that we've been getting in the past. So there's an uplift across all of those things. So just to wrap up then, two things around, uh, no three, three things to wrap up here around sort of the transformation of the relationship between apps and agents. So going on from Microsoft 365 Copilot, what we're going to see now, this will come in about December in preview. If you're working with Power Apps, then the sidecar chat is now going to be Microsoft 365 Copilot chat on the side. But if you're using that with a Power App, a model driven Power App, it's actually able to chat with your data in that app so all of the stuff in Dataverse, as well as bringing all that work IQ context. So we've seen demos here where they're like, I'm in my model driven app and I ask a question about what are the trends in my you know, stock availability or insurance claims or whatever you're doing with the app. And it can answer that. And then you can immediately switch to, oh, let's now generate something in PowerPoint based on that with this new document generation capability. And then let's switch into researcher and get information about industry trends in relation to that. So you're actually kind of getting the full benefit of not just a sidecar chat that chats with your data in the app, but the chats with all of that data in the app and all of that work IQ, all of your other data and gives you access to those agents. So the end-to-end -end story there is, is really, really good. I will put some links in the description of the sessions that I recommend you watch from Ignite. You can watch it all free online if you want to follow up on those things. So that's the first one. The second one is the Power Apps MCP server. So this is basically a way of connecting your app into agent capabilities that can do all sorts of cool things. So we've seen some things in here that you can actually then have an app agent kind of combined experience where the agent can submit approvals automatically, autonomously do data entry into a form for you. 
request user input. This one's a bit hard to it's a bit hard to explain without getting too technical, but the idea here is that the the interaction between the app and the agent really changes. This is where we have to start rethinking. This is not just about when I build a power app, I'm building forms over data and running reports. This is now more about saying, well, actually, I could have something running independently in the background, an autonomous agent that does the data entry into my app. And then in my app, I have like a, a feed of what all my agents are doing. And it escalates to me as a human when it needs my input to check something or fix something. This is a big world that I'm actually really interested in. I'm going to do plenty more on this, but that's amazing. And one last thing to finish off here is the sales development agent. So this is, a again, transformational in thinking about how we can work this idea of these autonomous agents where it's like always on doing research into incoming leads, like checking sort of external sources and internal sources, and then writing a personalised outreach message and doing the follow-up. And all of that is very connected to, like it's tailored. You put in your sales playbook and your content and all of those things. I feel like this one has been announced a few times under some different names, but looks like we're getting it now. So I will be doing something on that when we get there. All up here, this is, you know, if you're considering going to Microsoft Ignite, it's going to be in San Francisco again next year. It's quite an overwhelming experience. There's a lot of security. There's a lot of people everywhere. It's the biggest conference I've ever been to. It's been 20,000 people here. Um, it's been incredible, but it is something where you really need a bit of a plan and uh, maybe a buddy to, <laughs> to help you help you around with this thing. But the buzz here is really, it's very AI driven, but rather than kind of a big hit of bang, 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 bang new features this week, I really feel like it's very much around starting to think differently and really starting to kind of transform the concepts of what we can do with these tools. We're sort of past that introductory level. I've been reflecting on some of these things that I saw in their very early stages two years ago and how far they've come. And the pace of change and the pace of new things being added is only getting faster, if anything. So with all of that, I'm going to go rest my voice. Um, maybe you can see it's nice and sunny here in San Francisco. I'm going to go for a walk and get some fresh air and some vitamin D and some sunshine and see if I can finish this coffee. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will be doing more content on this, um, each of these pieces as we go along. But follow the links in the description below for like my recommended sessions on all this stuff. Thanks for being with me virtually here on the last day of Ignite.